Hey everyone, this is Orlando Streets, and this is my video tour of the Orlando Premium Outlets, which is located about 21 minutes from downtown Orlando on International Drive. This tourist trap opened sometime around 2005, has around 180 stores and nearly 800,000 square feet of total retail space. It is the largest outlet shopping mall in Florida, welcoming more than 17 million visitors every year. There is limited parking here, so it may take time to find a space. It may also be a long walk from your car to the mall, so please keep that in mind. Valet parking is available. Once you find parking, shopping is easy here. Finding your way in and out of each store is seamless and window shopping can be fun. It used to be that outlet malls were discount malls located in the hinterlands along some freeway. Growing up in California, we used to see them out in the desert in the middle of nowhere. Sometimes we would stop and buy something like a t-shirt or a cold beverage and look around a little. For me, these outlet stores are more of a novelty. That said, this outlet mall is different. If you look really hard, there are some heavily discounted items, but for the most part, it's really just fancy stores mixed in with stores you're already familiar with. Notable stores include Armani, Saks Fifth Avenue, Nike Factory Store, Disney Outlet, Forever 21, New York & Company, Victoria's Secret, and Salvatore Ferragamo. Sound familiar? Well it should. Most of these stores can be found at your local mall. This outlet mall has 22 restaurants including Chicken Now, Five Guys, Sarku Japan, Panera Bread, Lobster Trap, Sundial Cafe, Charlie Steaks, Sabaro, and Venito Ristorante. I told my wife this morning that I was putting this video together and she said, Oh yeah, that place is fun. I think that sums this mall up pretty well. It is fun. Fun for people to shop and fun for people like me to window shop. This is a Simon property and my experience with Simon properties is that they tend to be busier or at least as busy and popular as the best malls. Simon owns and operates retail properties all over the world and locally Simon Property Group owns and operates another busy mall, the Florida Mall. I did a walkthrough of the Florida Mall recently and I'll post a link to that video in the comment section below. This is Simon. More than retail real estate, we are a company of experiences, destinations, and gathering places where communities come together to discover the latest in shopping, dining, and entertainment. Simon is home to hundreds of iconic properties in top-tier markets across the country and around the world. 
with more than 200 U.S. properties, including malls, mills, and premium outlets, and 3,000 brands with annual sales of $62 billion, Simon is the number one publicly traded retail real estate company in the world and both a Fortune 500 and an S&P 100 company. We're reinvesting billions of dollars in our properties to create transformations that will change the way the world shops and lives. Fashion. Discovery. Community. This is Simon. When I was a kid, maybe 10 or 11 years old, my grandmother would take me to the movies or the mall. The mall she would take me to was the Westminster Mall. At the time, the mall was new and very modern looking. Space age, I thought. It's funny, but I can remember walking around that mall and maybe getting a small bite to eat, but not shopping for anything like clothes. Of course, I was only 10 or 11, so... The first outdoor mall I can remember was Fashion Island in Newport Beach. It was about 20 minutes from my house. I loved that mall and once again thought it was futuristic for some reason. They had a very beautiful koi pond and incredible window shopping. Fashion Island is known for their shopping, restaurants, farmers market, and movie theaters. A wonderful place Fashion Island is. When I was growing up, my local mall was South Coast Plaza. I was surprised to find out recently that South Coast Plaza is the fourth largest mall in the U.S. and a top 10 best mall according to the Travel Channel. South Coast, as I called it, was about a 10 minute bike ride from my house. Lots of memories there. I wasn't a mall rat, but did have a job for a while at the May Company. So I'm curious, what is your favorite store here at the outlets? Please let me know with a comment below. It's a pretty tough job showing you this whole outlet in a 10 minute video, but I hope that you enjoyed this tour. Orlando Premium Outlets is open every day of the week from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. If you have any questions, please let me know with a comment below, and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.
Слышен ее дикий стон Для нее у меня всегда готов ствол 